Hey, what's up guys? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial. Now in this video what we're going to go ahead and do is learn how to do a pitch shifted drum roll. So let's go ahead and begin. Very first thing we're going to want to do is bring up a new instrument. And we only need one so let's go ahead and just hit uh, Software Instrument 1, Create. Awesome. Uh, next we're going to go ahead and get our instrument to our instrument rack and we're going to select the EX24 sampler. We'll select Stereo. Let's go ahead and select our instrument now. In this case, we're going to want to go to drums and percussions, electronic drums, actually, you know, single drums, snares, electronic snares, and I actually like electronic snare D14. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and select that. Cool. So let's go ahead and put that away. And we're going to move this track at the top of our little project here. Now, next we're going to want to do is bring up our piano, piano roll because we're going to start inputting some data, some MIDI data. So make sure that you have your pencil tool selected, which I do right here. And we're going to begin right here at C1. Now, the way a uh, drum roll usually progresses is it goes 8 quarter notes, 8 eighth notes, 8 sixteenth notes, 16 thirty second notes. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure that your selection is uh, exactly at C1. Okay, cool. So here we go. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and extend this out a bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So from here on out, we probably just need our pointer tool. So we're going to go ahead and select these eight, which is our eight um, quarter notes. Pardon me. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And you can go ahead and copy by doing a command C, if you don't already know that. And let's go ahead and stop this little loop there. We don't want that. It's just going to interfere for right now. And we're going to go ahead and move our playhead to measure three. Now that we've copied that, we're going to go ahead and paste that. Cool. Okay, from here, oh, you know what, I think this is, this is just going to be a problem right there, so let's just go ahead and uh, just keep our loop on. All right, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and move our playhead right back to measure number three. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and copy this right here. All these notes that we just inputted. And we're going to paste them in between... That's going to be measure three and measure three and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and paste that right there. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and go to measure number four. And we're going to copy all the data that's in front of it. So copy. And we're going to go ahead and place that right there. Our playhead's going to be uh, in between these two MIDI notes right here about, I think that's a 16th note in. We're going to hit copy. Now we're going to go ahead and move to, I guess the last, or actually second to last quarter note right here at measure number four. And we're going to copy. And we're going to go ahead and place our copy notes in between uh, these two MIDI notes right here should look something like that. Actually, let's go ahead and just slide this over just a little bit there, and that's around the halfway point. So now we should have this drum roll that progressively gets faster. Let's go ahead and listen to it soloed. As you can tell, I do have uh, two uh, sounds right here. I have some MIDI data right here, and I have a loop that I found in our Apple Loop Bank. Uh, but I don't want to show you guys that just right yet. I want to go ahead and do kind of like a grand, you know, reveal at the end so you guys, you know, kind of get to see how it sounds much better uh, in context to music. So let's go ahead and just listen to how it sounds right now. And then we'll add these other two instruments a little bit later. Okay, perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted. Now next, what we're going to want to do is have a little bit of fun with uh, messing with the pitch. Very cool. So let's go ahead and start at measure number three. 
beginning of measure three. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, actually, let's go ahead and start at the, the middle of <laughs> measure number three right here. So that's going to be measure three, beat three. We're going to grab these four MIDI notes right here. And we're going to bring them, we're going to go ahead and bring it up just two semitones. We're going to grab these next uh, four MIDI notes and we're going to bring them up a couple more MIDI notes above where we left off. So one, two, one, two. Awesome. And we're going to do the same with these ones over here. Actually, we're only going to bring these up two. So one, two. You know what? Let's go ahead and bring that up at a little bit higher, actually. That should be fine. We're going to grab these eight right here. And we're going to bring them right there. I'm going to grab these last eight right here. And do that. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like in context uh, with other music. All right, awesome. So that's how you do a pitch shifted drum roll in Logic Pro X. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Of course, plenty more of these videos to come, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.